So the IGN stream showcasing new gameplay of Gearbox's third installment for Borderlands 3 has not long ended. Today we check out what was shown and talk about details dropped. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I'll be doing another BL3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So if you like me were watching this on Twitch, IGN stream literally froze the moment details about the DLC were about to be released. I thought my internet had went down for a quick second, but I quickly jumped onto YouTube where it was being streamed and it was fine. Now gameplay in the background now, 15 minutes of brand new gameplay from this DLC, but if you don't want to be spoiled by footage but do want to hear what I say, minimise the video or look away. So DLC 3 for Borderlands 3 will be available to play across the board for all players who have purchased it on June 25th, so not too far away. It's called A Bounty of Blood, A Fistful of Redemption, and gameplay footage we can see in the background now is from this new DLC, and we see it's upon a new destination of Jihanna. The basis of the DLC and this new destination is the Sheriff of Jihanna has issued a bounty on a new enemy, the Outlaws. And yes, it's us, it's we who cash in on this bounty. We do know also that as you complete new story and side missions on Jihanna, your actions will have a tangible and lasting impact on the locals' livelihoods and on the town of Vestige itself. Now obviously there's way more to it than just that, but details even with the IGN stream haven't been given out too much. We know of two new NPCs who I covered in the past, Rose and Juno. These will basically be our DLC guides. DLC will also be narrated by a character we actually never see, which will be a kind of new experience. It will be like us playing through a story as it's being told to us, which sounds cool. Now more about how the town evolves over the course of us doing missions and side missions. So there are also collectibles too, all over the place. Movie reels actually. And when we collect them all, we get to see a small movie for this, which is pretty epic. Loot wise are obviously being tight lipped about it but we do hear of a couple of new legendaries. Firstly a Torg pistol which sticks gyro jets as it passes through those enemies. And we also hear of a new legendary called the Bubble Blaster which shoots out high damage bubbles which sounds cool. We also get a brand new vehicle which is actually half vehicle half beast and it's called the Jet Beast. Mount your new weaponized Jet Beast vehicle and keep an eye out for local flora and other environmental features that can give you an edge in combat and expand your explorational pursuits. Now there are a few of these new gameplay objects they talk about. The Traitor Weed, which turns enemies into allies. The Core Exploder, which is a big rock kind of plant, which if you melee it shotguns out a high damage shrapnel. A Breezer, which is like a jump pad. And then we have a Telezapper, which is basically a teleporter. Now like I said, details weren't shared that much and I've covered for the most part what they did discuss. That the DLC will be here before you know it, a little over two weeks away. And then we get hands on on this new DLC which will be pretty cool. Again June 25th is when it drops. And really guys that's basically it and what we've learned so far. Now as always if anything else drops news wise, obviously I will have you covered right here on my channel. Now I will leave you to watch the remaining gameplay or 10 plus minutes of it and I hope you enjoy it. On that note we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Also if you'd like to support me directly you can by hitting that join button and becoming a member of my channel. I do appreciate it. But guys thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next. One. <laughs> oh, look, dead meat. Good or get dead, scrub.
Company scientists had some fancy name for the crystals they dug out of Gehanna's veins. Regular folks just took to calling it core, fueled the company's weapons of war, and it did strange things to the devils and beasts. Whatever nightmares a company could dream up, core made them real. Back in town, Juno was looking for Titus. Of course she wouldn't find him. That pleasure was reserved for the Vault Hunter. The Vault Hunter heard a cry for help. Help! Anyone out there? <sighs> Believe my eyes. What if you were a gal? No, boy. No, boy. Yeah. Tomodachi. About time someone came for me. Gun those devil riders down and get me out of here. <sighs> Titus. Of course he found himself in trouble. Now, devil riders don't take prisoners unless they got designs on them. Who knows what the poor bastard was in for? <sighs> Is it good to see you? I stole this off a Devil Rider that was roughing me up. It's something the company made, and I thought it might come in handy. You take it. Now, you see that crystal over there? It's infused with core, called a core exploder. Give it your knuckles. Uh, quick now, get me out of here before those Devil Riders come back and try to beat us hollow. 
Well, damn! I told you those things were volatile! <laughs> now I see why Sheriff outlawed company goods in town. But these are different times, I suppose. Now listen, I overheard some Devil Riders talking about the stone. Said they were keeping it up top in the bathhouse. I'll show you the way. Follow me. Can you believe that? Those Devil Riders are celebrating the Sheriff's death with damn fireworks. Ugh. We'll give them a reason to stop celebrating soon enough. Come on then, let's show these devil riding fester cocks they ain't so damn tough! Gonna kill you dead! Deader than dead! Extra dead! You slumber! Here, spell. Ah! 